Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, where we offer challenging math enrichment classes online for kids from age 5 to 15. And I'm here today with another math treat. This is one of my all-time favorite math explorations. Again, super easy to get into, but you could go really, really deep and explore some really cool stuff. So, as you'll see, I've written some numbers up here and I have some pictures, so let's take a look. At the top here, I have five, which I could write as two plus three, and I have a picture of what that might look like over there on the right. Then I have six, which I could write as one plus two plus three, and again, I have a picture of what that could look like. And finally, I have 18, which is three plus four plus five plus six, and a picture of that as well. Now, you might be noticing some things. First of all, I'm always using addition in, this th in these things. And second of all, the numbers that I'm using over here are consecutive. They're in order. So 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. I'm not skipping any numbers. And so that is actually the challenge here is can you write any number you choose, 7, 12, 42, as the sum of consecutive whole numbers? So that is going to be what I want you to try. Let's try one together. Maybe I pick 7. Let's start small. And I might think, well, maybe, let me just start from one and see what happens. So I could do one, and then I would have to add two, and then I'd have to add three. That would get me to six, which I knew already. But then I would have to add four. Ah, that's ten. That's a little too big. So let me try something different. Maybe I don't want to start at one. Maybe I start at two. Two plus three, that's five. I'd need a four. Ah, that's nine. That didn't work. All right, let me try, let me try starting from three. Boom, there it is, three plus four is seven. So you can write seven as a consecutive sum of at least two numbers, okay? So that's what I want you to try. Now, as you get into this, you will discover that some numbers are kind of easy to make and some numbers are a little bit harder. And maybe there are some numbers that you can't do at all. And then if you can't, why? Like, what, what's special about the ones that you can't do? So that's what I want you to explore. I want you to think about, can I make one, two, three, four, as the sum of consecutive whole numbers, like I've done. And some of you might like to do it with numbers like this, because that's the way your mind works. But others of you might want to draw these pictures. These are sometimes called staircase numbers, because they look like staircases, or parts of staircases. They don't always have to start at one, remember but they kind of go up one at a time as you go. So sometimes if you look at it visually, you can see patterns and structure in different ways than you might notice if you did it with just the numerals like this. So that is the challenge. I want you to see how many of these you can make, which ones you can't make. And then I want you to look for structure and pattern. Which ones can you make with three? The sum of three numbers. Which ones can you make with the sum of four numbers? Are there some numbers that you can make in multiple ways? Like I'm pretty sure you can make 15 in more than one way. So what's special about numbers that can be done in multiple ways? And then when you find some that you can't make, what's special about those and why can't you make them? That is the really interesting question here, which is why? And that's the fundamental question that mathematicians ask that we sometimes forget to ask is why. Sometimes we are content when we just find the pattern but I want you to go deeper and go further and explore and see if you can figure out why there are some numbers that you can't make. So that's it for this week's Math Treat. Try this, explore, discover, think about why, and until next time, just have fun playing with math.